a year now, COVID-19 pandemic has redefined and reshaped graduates last year. This year, the school's closure again upended students' lives, forcing them to finish their final year virtually. Even we want to host live graduation, circumstances is taking precedence over pumps. Safety is overruling tradition. To begin with our virtual ceremony, the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be conducted by Lorna A. Barbante. we have made, for all the days, laughter, and fun, and for all the time of great discovery and learning. We thank you for all who have given of their energy and skill so that we can graduation today. Our teachers and mentors, our family and loved ones, we thank you for them and give them all to you in prayer. As this is chapter and our life closes, so a new one begins. We present our ourselves like an open book before you. Come and scribe your words, life into our lives. Fill our minds with your thoughts. Fill our bodies with your strength. Fill our hearts with your dreams that we might eternally serve you this day and every day. We ask all this in glorious name of Jesus, who live and reign with you, and Holy Spirit, world without and amen. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The singing of the original hymn and... The people under all the beaten open their front renowned for feeling up and sealing from dawn to dust. We're singing our prayers to thee. Where the flames the spark and rivers and seas, hills and mountains, trees adorn from the shores across the seas. Nature's gift to the heart. Be Kulanda, be Kulanda, our native land. Behold, Alpine, come on in the soft air, come on in the soup, the Tandu Hanes, must Yes, 
teachers, and parents. During graduation exercises, seats are filled with reading students and their families. But today, the seats are empty, despite this pandemic. We have a taken advantage of technology in the internet to pursue this once-in-a-lifetime tradition to be recognized, to be honored of our tireless efforts. Let me begin by looking back at my time as a student. My elementary days were a roller coaster ride for me. There were times I feel like at my highest point and times I am my lowest. There were times I have the urge to study and times I am lazy. There were times I feel like I belong and times na pakiramdam ko nag-iisa ako sa mundong ginagalawan ko. There were times I feel like kaya ko, but there were also times na sumuko na kaya ako. We all have a different stories to unfold. Different encounters worth to be remembered. We are now here about to open another chapter of our life to achieve greater things. Be grateful to your experience. Be grateful to your classmates, teachers, and family who became part of your journey, molded you. We are not yet done writing our own history, thus, we should take the courage and be excited for what in store ahead. Always remember that life is a big adventure and we must hold steadfast into the Lord and enjoy the ride. Isang malaking karangalan ang mabigyang na oportunidad na makapagbahagi sa inyong lahat sa araw na ito ng puno ng pag-asa at tagumpay. Congratulations, graduates, and may the odds be ever in our favor. Welcome to the 54 graduation exercises of Tarasanan San Francisco Elementary School. Thank you and God bless. Let us listen to the inspirational message by Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones.
presentation of the school officials, teachers, guests, and awardees. The representative of the school's division superintendent, Madam Loida M. Ikea, may I present to you the 41 grade 6 pupils school year 2020-21 of the Rosanan San Francisco Elementary School who have satisfactorily completed the elementary curriculum as prescribed by the Bureau of Elementary Education Division, Department of Education for your continuation this 16th day of July 2020-21 at Kamaligan, Kamalinsur, Philippines. By virtue of the authority vested in me, a school's division superintendent of DepEd Kamarinesur, and upon the certification of your school head, that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the basic education curriculum of the Department of Education, I now confirm your graduation this July 2021. Congratulations. On behalf of the other officials of SDO Kamsur, I take joy and pride in congratulating you all, graduates of school year 2020-2021, as well as your school head, teachers, advisors, parents, and guardians for this very special milestone in your lives. I am confident that our beloved teachers, with the support of the non-teaching personnel and stakeholders, have equipped you with all the knowledge, skills, and attitudes essential in addressing challenges in this time of pandemic. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia, is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, focuses on adapting different approaches and strategies for delivering quality education to all Filipino learners. I'm sure the school implemented different learning modalities, modular, which could be hard and soft copies, radio and TV-based instructions, online learning, either synchronous or asynchronous, making blended learning really an alternative way of making education continue. I commend the synergy between and among the school and its stakeholders, the efforts and resources these champions put in the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan or BELCP, all aim at developing you who will contribute meaningfully to building the nation. Indeed, this is a true manifestation of DepEd's Sulung Idukalidad, or KITE, K-12 Curriculum Review and Update, Improvement of Learning Environment, Teachers' Upskilling and Reskilling, Engagement of Stakeholders for Support and Collaboration. May their meaningful engagement truly motivate us to complete and help realize our vision and mission to provide all Filipino learners quality, relevant, inclusive, and liberating education, thus helping them achieve their bright future. I thank them for all the opportunities given you. Their support, sacrifice, and aspirations paid off today your graduation ceremonies. Congratulations, graduates. Even if we are experiencing the new and next normal brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, i like you to succeed and be part of the mission to improve the Philippines in whatever role you will assume and wherever you will be destined to be. Again, congratulations and God bless us all.
that would burn them off the walls. Grade 6 Sunflower Maria Luz A. Alagdan, Class Advisor Weed Honors Alden Isabel G. Morales Grace Ashley D. Pangilinan, John Mark T. Pesimo, Rosania R. Tabilog, Mary Lynn A. Grade 6, San Pagita. Madonna G. Lumbria, Class Advisor. With honors, Vanilla Janela A. Sela
message from the representative of the awardees to be given by Angel Finis A. Tejero. Magandang araw, lalo na sa aking mga kamag-aral at guro ng Taresanan San Francisco Elementary School na pinangungunahan ni Ma'am Susan Madrid Reyes. Mga kapwa ko kamag-aral sa loob ng anim na taon, marami tayong pinagdaanan. May mga mahirap, ngunit marami rin sa sayang karanasan. Sinoong natin maging ang pandemya na nagdala ng dagdag pasakit, hindi lamang sa ating mga estudyante, bagkus maging sa ating mga magulang at guro. May git isang taon lang tayo hindi nagkita-kita buwat ng lumalaganap na sakit, at hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa alam kung kailan talaga ito mawawakasan. Heto tayo ngayon, sabay-sabay namang nawakasan, matagumpay na natapos ang isang yugto ng ating buhay. May kunti mong lukot sapagkat mahabang pananang tayo hindi nagkasama-sama, ay panigurado pang hindi rin na tayong lahat na magkita-kita. Tiyak na hindi na tayo mag-aaral sa iisang paaralan. Ang malaga ay nagkaroon tayo ng relasyon na hindi mapaghihiwalay ng anumang pandemya at graduation. Sa akin namang mga magulang, naiilang man ako magpasalamat sa inyo lagi. Ngayon talagang graduation ko, sabihin ko nga sa inyong dalawa na maraming maraming salamat. Salamat dahil aminado naman ako, hindi ako pala sunod sa inyong mga utos, pero patuloy ninyo ako pinagpapasensyahan. Salamat sa inyong pag-aasikato sa akin, lalo na o may face-to-face -face classes pa. Salamat sa inyong mahabang pagtitiis na sana ay magpatuloy pa hanggang sa pagtutong ko ng kolehiyo. Pinapangako ko rin na magsisika pa ako lalo upang matupad ang ating mga pangarap. Salamat din sa mga uh, naging guru ko. Dahil sa pagbabahagi ninyo ng inyong mga kaalaman, hindi lamang sa akin, kundi sa, akin, sa amin lahat ang mga kaklasiko. Inarap ninyo maging ang panibagong paraan ng pagtutuloy. Congratulations. Pledge of loyalty to Alma Mater to be led by Rosamia R. Pesimo. Mga kamag-aral, itas natin ang ating kanang kamay. Pledge of loyalty. I solemnly swear that I will be loyal to my Alma Mater. The Tarasana San Francisco Elementary School, I vote to protect its good name and uphold dedicatedly its ideals and objectives. I further promise to bear always the TSFES values and integrate them in my way of life. This pledge without mental reservation, so help me God. For the closing remarks, may I call in Susan M. Reyes, Elementary School Head Teacher 3. Thank you for attending to today's virtual graduation ceremony. Congratulations on your accomplishments and know that we are tremendously proud of you. We look forward to welcoming you back to the school in person as soon as possible. Stay safe, till then, and make a difference in the world. We were extremely proud that you belong to the school. Before we say goodbyes, allow me to share this quote with all of you. Don't cry because the game is ended. It's okay to smile because it happened. I'm sure you missed a lot of things throughout this pandemic. You missed your friends, your teachers, and your face-to-face -face classes. But don't cry because it's over. It's okay to smile because it happened. Despite all the things you missed, graduation took place. Continue to smile, graduates. Good luck and God bless to all of you. Thank you. Thank you.